Hi friends today we are going to learn slow and quick methods in embroidery let's start with bullion knot slow methods i'm using an embroidery floss here quick methods we are going to be using a milliner needle that has a long shaft that's the same thickness as the eye so that is important I can lay it down to see if I've got enough wraps on the needle there and I do. woven spider web stitch slow methods quick methods I'm working with the tapestry needle it has a long eye and a blunt tip. So over and then under all the way around the circle. You can do several threads at a time. So it goes very fast. You can see here why it's important to use an odd number of threads because the over and under alternate on every spoke. And if you're using an even number of spokes, that won't happen. back stitch slow methods when using the stabbing method you start by bridging the needle up through the fabric next 
you take the needle back down through the fabric and back up and so on working with the stabbing method can give you a higher level of stitching accuracy this can be specifically helpful when keeping the length of stitches consistent quick methods when working with the sewing method you also start by bridging the needle up through the fabric but from then on the needle remains on the surface of the fabric dipping down and coming back up in a single stitch or part of a stitch this method can make your stitching faster if you form a rhythm as you work it will be faster still running stitch slow methods quick methods chain stitch slow methods i am using a pearl cotton here quick methods stem stitch slow methods As you try the two methods with different stitches, you may find that you enjoy working some with stabbing and others with sewing. You may also find that with one method it's easier to work right to left while the other is better working left to right. There are no rules here, so experiment and go with what works. Don't forget if you have not subscribed yet go on over click that subscribe button and watch more videos I am so very grateful for your time and comment thank you